Y'all are working us hard. Yeah. Oh, you want to hear I Lay My Heart in Tennessee? Okay. Yeah. Well, I will. You know, you look pretty mean, so we'll do it for you. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll get to that before we leave, I promise. Uh, but right now, everywhere we go, we always uh, have a story from Boom Boom over here. <laughs> And I'm sure tonight here in Cincinnati, it's no different. Aaron Lee, what's the word, son? What have you been up to? Anything good? Oh, uh, not a thing. <laughs> Man, I used to come up here to Cincinnati a lot. Uh, I grew up in West Virginia. And uh, a few of you got out of there, too. <laughs> Team was the Cincinnati Reds. Yeah. We used to go to a lot of games back in the day um, when Eric Davis was there. Was it Synergy Field? Is that right? Yeah. 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 So it's good to be back. Good to be back here. I don't know, I had a pretty bad week, really. Well, let's, well, I'll take that back. We did we opened, we opened for Alabama. I love Alabama, man. They're, they're one of the best that's ever been in the country. And, uh, they'll never be anything like that again. Have you heard the radio? But uh, let's see, besides that, my week's just been crap. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm real tired. I've been down, I was in uh, Illinois all week. Uh, and they had those tornadoes last night. And so I was up all night with that. I got the house landed on my mother in law. <laughs> No, it's okay. I did get her ruby red slippers. <laughs> Bob got it. I drove up here uh, today. I needed to get away. I needed a little break from, uh, from the week. Just me and my radio. And, uh, Listen to the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. Yeah. yeah. Love them. Never been another one of them either. Once again. Yes. Never heard the radio. <laughs> anyway, I didn't get, I got about 45 minutes. I had the phone hooked up to the radio the car, like Blue Teeth or what's it called? <laughs> <laughs> and here it started ringing. I was just having a good time, full blast through my speakers, and it was my wife calling, that old battle axe. <laughs> I said, well, I've not been in a bad mood. I said, my God, I haven't been, I haven't been gone an hour. And so I, I answered the phone, and uh, it come over the speaker, and I couldn't figure out how to get it off. <laughs> I said, what is it? <laughs> and uh, she said, I got some good news, and I got some bad news. And who talks like that? <laughs> and I said, well, you know, the week I've had, I've had nothing but bad news. I don't want any bad news. If it's not good news, don't even tell me, don't even talk. <laughs> it was quiet for a second, and she said, well, do you remember that new car that I got last week? I said, yes. She said, good news, the airbags work. <laughs> so, uh, I almost got here. I was just out in Kentucky. 
had uh, listened to Dick Curlis. Anybody know who Dick Curlis is? Yeah. There's a man. <laughs> Once again, ring, ring, ring through my speaker. This time it was my lawyer. Well, he's my lawyer plus uh, my art appraiser. <laughs> <laughs> I started. I started uh, painting here last year, doing a lot of paintings and stuff. And it really got me into. Uh, I started collecting art. You know, paintings. I've got some good ones too, worth some money. And, but I don't know everything about it, and uh, so my lawyer, he he uh, he collects artwork, and he can appraise it. He knows what they're worth. And he's helped me out. But he called. I tried to get my wife into it, right? And she couldn't really understand uh, painting. But photography, she loves photography, and she's collected some uh, photography from auctions and yard sales and uh, Ansel Adams. And, uh, it's not funny, it's the most worse <laughs> But I answered the phone from my lawyer art appraiser, and I said, uh, I said, hey, Frank, his name's Frank. And I said, uh, What's going on, man? And we talked for a little bit. Uh, he said, how's your mother-in-law? I said, she got squashed by a house. <laughs> she but we're okay. And uh, he said, well, I'm going to cut to the chase. I've got some good news and i got some bad news. <laughs> Why? How's it going? Anyway. I said, well, I've had a bad week. And, uh, just give me some good news, please, Frank. He said, your wife, just come by the office here. And she ran across some photography. And I think it's going to be worth a lot of money for her. I said, really? What are we talking about? He said, I think upwards of $100,000. I said, well, what did she pay for it? He said, not a thing. She found it. I said, marvelous. Marvelous. That's the news I wanted. See, everybody told me I was out of my mind. She, I said, no, she'll get an eye for good art. And so I can't believe it. She got it for free. She's going to make over $100,000. You made my day, Frank. I said, I have to ask, what's the bad news? He said, well, the photography that she found is of you and your neighbor's wife.
Yeah.